Welcome to Location, the Locator News Web Edition delivering top stories from a top newspaper. I'm Justin Silner. And I'm Kelsey Castrava. Here's your news now. On September 25th, the owners of 40 Living Memorial Gardens gathered together to remember their loved ones who were murdered. They celebrated the third annual National Day of Remembrance in Upper Chichester. Each garden has a unique story. One story is of Tom McPhee, who was a public safety officer here at Cabrini College. McPhee's daughter was murdered eight years ago at the age of 26. On the last Tuesday of every month, McPhee gets together with the parents of murdered children of Delaware County. The group talks about topics they can relate to because of the deaths of their children. Cabrini College Fair Trade Ambassadors hosted a Fair Trade Craft Show supporting Fair Trade Month throughout October in Jasmine's Cafe. Let's take a look at how it went. On Tuesday, October 6th, Cabrini's Catholic Relief Services student ambassadors hosted Fair Trade Day in honor of October being Fair Trade Month. We're helping promote that the farmers get a fair, equal amount of what they're making, that they get their profit back, that they get the equal opportunity of what they make. They get their money that they should get. We're promoting Peace Coffee, which Peace Coffee is a Minneapolis-based coffee. It's from Guatemala. and. What it is, is that we um, give part of the uh, proceeds to um, Guatemala, which promotes peace um, efforts. And then uh, we're trying to get everybody on campus, you know, to know about fair trade and what his <laughs> coffee is. Also, Global Gifts in Wayne, a partnership store with 10,000 villages, had an arts and crafts sale offering fair trade items from around the world. I am selling um, basically the product line of 10,000 villages. It's a very eclectic line, um, things from jewelry to plant and garden supplies, handmade papers, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of Christmas items, scarves, personal accessories like billfolds, keychains, things like that, yes. It's, it's hard in this country sometimes to realize what people in other places endure or how they live. Like we take things like clean water for, for granted or the access to public education, roads. Uh, for a lot of people, it's a struggle to eat on a regular basis. They may be very talented people, but they don't have access to a market. And if we buy things that where we know that the people who made them were treated fairly, um, it definitely enhances their day-to-day -day life. This is Josh Brown on location. Back to you guys in the studio. The Federal Direct Student Loan Program will soon raise the amount of federal loans and lower the cost to college students if passed by Congress. The bill called Student Aid and Fiscal Responsibility Act will take student loans out of the hands of profit-making companies and make them federal loans to students. The bill was recently passed by the House of Representatives and is now being debated by the Senate. And now let's see what's up on the dirt sheet. What's up all you stars and studs, I'm Jake Veterano. And I'm Gianna Chikatino, and welcome to The Dirt Sheet where we give you the latest in entertainment. The Fame Kills Tour starring Kanye West and Lady Gaga has been canceled. And now Kanye is in some serious trouble with Live Nation. Listen Kanye, I know you just got your tour canceled and everything, but Michael Jackson had one of the greatest tour cancellations of all time. Word life, yo! John is out of the house, as the reality show will now be called Kate Plus 8. But fear not, fans. John will have his own show featuring his girlfriend called John Plus Homewrecker Plus Ed Hardy Shirt Plus Child Support. Think your band is awesome? Then prove it in Cabrini's Battle of the Bands on October 13th. The winning band will play live at the Mr. and Mrs. Cabrini pageant on November 11th. Will favorites from last year Pigs in Flight win? Or will TLC show up and win? Go t boss and that's all we've got for you this week. I'm Gianna Chicatino. And I'm Jake Veterano, the Glamazon. Back to you, Kelsey and Justin. Now let's check out this month's upcoming events calendar with Melissa. Hi, I'm Melissa Cipollini here on location outside of the mansion. It doesn't look very spooky right now, but if you're here on Tuesday, October 27th at 8 p.m., WYBF is hosting its annual scavenger hunt. So come out and enjoy some great music and some spooky fun. Some other events coming up this month are, on Thursday, October 29th, Capture the Clue Mystery Dinner will be held in the mansion at 6.30 p.m. Reservations are required to sign up in the field office. On Friday, October 23rd, take a trip to the Field of Screams. Bus departs from Founders Lot at 6 p.m. Sign up in the field to reserve your spot. 
Perini College Associate Professor of Biology, Dr. David Dunbar, is one of 20 scientists in the nation to complete a year-long innovative program to help students learn about biology. The program is part of the Biology Scholars Program established by the American Society for Microbiology and the National Science Foundation. And now let's check on this week's weather with Liz. Hi cuties, I'm Liz Scopoletti and before I give you your weather, let me make one side note. The weather is subject to change. While Thursday is looking wonderful with mostly sunny skies, the high around 68 and the low 51. Friday, some showers head your way with a high of 71 and a low of 56. Saturday, chilly and rainy, the high only reaching 62 with a low down to 43 degrees. And to end your weekend, partly cloudy skies with a high of 60 and a low of 46. Have a great weekend, everyone. Back to you, Kelsey and Justin. And now let's take a trip around the world. The U.S. Senate is working to extend unemployment insurance by 13 weeks. Currently, unemployment insurance gives jobless Americans temporary financial help for up to half a year. As of the end of September, about a third of one million unemployed Americans ran out of benefits. The Senate is debating the bill, since it would only extend benefits in the states where the jobless rate is at its least 8.5 percent. Opposition is coming from 23 senators where states where the unemployment rate is under 8.5 percent and whose residents would not qualify for the extension. A suicide bomber attacked the United Nations World Food Program in Islamabad, the capital of Pakistan. Five people were killed. Police said it was a serious security breach. The building is typically under tight guard by private security officers, but the bomber reportedly wore the uniform of a security guard. This bombing was the first direct attack against a UN agency in Pakistan. This program can provide food to about 10 million Pakistanis. And now it's time for your two minute drill with Nick. What's going on all you sports fans? Nick Goulden here with your two minute drill. The Eagles had a much needed bye week last weekend. Donovan McNabb should be back and healthy for this upcoming game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after he was out for two games due to a rib injury. Ryan Westbrook is back for this weekend's game from an ankle injury that occurred in week two. The Bucks are 0-4 on the season, so the Eagles are looking for one easy win. The Phillies have clinched the NL East and are headed for the playoffs. They took the win against the Astros on September 30th with a score of 10-3. This is the first time since 1976 through 1978 that the Phillies have won three straight divisional titles. The Phillies face off against the Colorado Rockies in a rematch of the 2007 National League Divisional Series. Now for Cabrini Sports, the men's soccer team lost to Immaculata University with a score of 4-1. The women's volleyball team suffered two losses at the Franklin and Marshall College Tournament. They lost to Lebanon Valley College three games to zero and Franklin and Marshall College three games to zero. The fourth annual volleyball tournament was held on Tuesday, October 6th. Let's check in with Casey for more on this story. In conjunction with Fair Trade Day, the fourth Fair Trade Volleyball Tournament took place on October 6th. This event is part of Cabrini College's first annual Fair Trade Day, which is raising campus attention on buying and using sports equipment, t-shirts, coffee, chocolates, and crafts. Teams of four gathered at the Dixon Center to test their skills against fellow students, alumni, and faculty. To start the event, Dr. Mary Labor, the Director of International Partnerships, spoke on the importance of raising fair trade awareness and how Cabrini College is gaining a reputation in social justice. Today's turnout was pretty good. Um, last year, we did have a few more teams, so we're a little disappointed, but we're still hoping that um, we really get people pumped and excited about fair trade, and just to have people remember to be aware of about their purchases, whether it is here on campus and off campus with different cafes that serve fair trade coffee. With another great tournament under their belts, ambassadors hope to spread the word about these products made and grown in communities that receive a living wage for their labors. I'm Casey Manick on location. Thank you for watching this week's Web Edition. Be sure to tune in next week for another great episode. I'm Kelsey Gastrava. And I'm Justin Silner. Have a great day. This week's episode of Location has been sponsored by Alpha Delta. Alpha Delta is a first year honor society. After fall, um, your freshman year, if you got a 3.5 or above, you're eligible to be a part of this group. Um, and it just started with um, my class, which is graduating.